So I see he's uh, off-road here standing on an incline. Yeah, well, you just learned how to use it on flat pavement, so before we get you to tackle something like this, I want to have Chad Jelinski here give us a demonstration of exactly what to do and how to keep it safe. Okay, yeah, let's take it off-road a little bit here. All right, let's give it a shot. Just trying to get a feel for it here. It seems pretty light, yet it's still pretty rugged. I noticed that it's got good handles to grab it, pick it up, and carry it. The other thing I like about it is the fact that you can um, Compare this to, say, for an instance, ATVs or motorcycles. If you're going, um, if you're if you're going off road and you're taking it on some of the trails, uh, you can do you can do anything from fishing to camping, um, using it as an extension to your base camp. For instance, say you own an earth roamer or a big RV, um, it would be great to have this hooked to the back or hooked inside, charging while you're driving. Unhook it, be able to get down um, and take off with it and leave your base camp alone and not have to tear up camp in the morning just to go do something or explore the area. So that's a, that's a great benefit in my opinion. Plus the fact that you're not using any gas, it's very, very earth friendly uh, as opposed to an ATV or motorcycle of some sort. Um, it's a lot lighter. You lay a motorcycle over or roll an ATV over, sometimes um, you know, lighter people can't pick those up or having a hard time uh, manhandling those. This here, you shouldn't have any problems dealing with that. You can actually pick it up over obstacles and it's pretty light that way. So th those are some of the aspects that I've noticed I really like about it. Um, the charge at 15 miles, I, I was a little concerned about that at first, but we've been uh, playing with it all morning. Haven't had any problems with it. Uh, still got lots of battery life left. You'd be surprised how far you can go on, on the battery life, so that's pretty nice. So since we're talking about charging on it, one of the beautiful things that I really, really like about it is there's no overcharging issues. So there, um, it's got two lithium ion batteries in it. Um, they have no memory problems. So you can plug it in, it tops off the batteries, and then you don't have to worry about it overcharging. So that, that's, a, that's a really good um, feature to have, especially when you're plugging this into vehicles and you're dealing with 12 volt, converting it to 110 and all that stuff. So that's really nice. It's only got five moving parts, which is really nice. You've got the two permanently sealed lubricated gearboxes, you got two wheels, and you got this pivot here. That's it. So you can pretty much leave your tools at home with this one. So some of the accessories you can get for it are pretty cool too. You got the hard bag that mounts right here. You got an accessory plate that mounts on each side. You can have one bag, two bags, any way you want. You got another bag that goes right here. You can, you can uh, get a light for it. There's a, they even got third party accessories where you can actually pull a trailer behind it if you wanted to. So it's pretty cool. So a couple of the other features I like about it is easy access to the charging port, um, easy access to the batteries, the wheels, you know, when you're off-roading, sometimes it has happened, you get a flat or something like that. They're tubeless. So it's easy to, to uh, fix, the, fix the tire. Um, you could take the wheel off two minutes max. Quick, easy, boom, boom, and you're done. So I like that a lot about it. You can adjust it, move it down, move it up. All right. So another cool thing I like about it is the tear down on it. You just spin this a few times, pull this out, and you get it apart. That makes it a ton easier than any motorcycle or ATV out there as far as being able to haul this um, when you're overlanding. So tear this down, stick this on the roof rack, in the back, whatever, throw this on the charger and you're good to go. So another cool accessory you can get for it is a uh, hauler form that you can hook into your receiver. You can get a, a dual one or a single one and you just pull them down and load the segways. Okay, so we got some of that stuff out of the way. Now I wanted to take you to a different location here. We're going to try and uh, do some off-roading with it. 
and uh, see what this thing's really capable of now.